Next, use this file-based routing, so index.js for our bare URLs and then named routes for anything else. It also has dynamic routing. So if I wanted to capture part of the path, and assign it to a variable, say name, I would name a file, open square brackets, name, close square bracket. So let's um, create a functional component um, called name. To access that variable, we'll import the use router hook from the router that comes with, Next with Next.js. We'll assign that router to a variable. And then from that, we will we'll get our name from the router.query parameter block. So now we can say hi name, and we get hi Kevin, and then that will update based on our URL. Now this can have numbers, it can have letters of either case, and it'll be passed through as is. We can also use folders as our route names, and they can be wildcards also, open square bracket notation but we can't have two wildcards on the same level. So let's move our previous component inside here. And instead of calling it name, call it index.js. This sh should work exactly as it did before. And this time it's going, it's got a wildcard. So it goes to the wildcard in that, on that level. So in this case, name, and then to, it's got nothing beyond that. So it goes to our index.js. But we could have another named um, route in there, so name.test, this could be Kevin slash test. And we can see that's always going to the test page, so no matter what's in here, it will always go to the test page. This could also have been a wildcard. So if this instead was a wildcard account, let's take our logic from our name page and put it in here, and take and destructure the account from the query object as well. We can say, hi name, you are account and then give it an account name. So hi, Kevin, you are account one, two, three, four, five. 